In the early 1960s, computer scientists started exploring the possibility of sharing computing resources globally. Although it started quite early, the term cloud computing only began gaining traction in the early 2000s when companies like Amazon, Microsoft and Google introduced their cloud platforms. Over time, it evolved so rapidly that today, in 2025, it has become one of the most sought-after skills in the IT industry. According to a report by LinkedIn, it consistently managed to rank among the top five skills employers are looking for. In fact, in 2025, 85% of organizations are expected to adopt a cloud-first approach, meaning cloud services are going to become their primary method for managing data. And it's not just about the growth rate. Leading tech companies like Amazon, Microsoft and Google are actively on the lookout for cloud professionals to keep up with the demand. And here's the interesting part. These same organizations and many more are offering roles with salaries averaging 8 lakhs per annum. However, a cloud interview is a completely different story altogether. While theoretical knowledge is essential, Practical knowledge is what is going to help you land a job. In this video, we'll dive into the top 5 practical and beginner-friendly cloud computing project ideas that will give you enough confidence and expertise to stand out from the crowd. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest content. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right in to the first project on my list. Personal Cloud Storage Let's use Google Drive as our idol for this project. Starting with the requirements, our personal cloud storage should allow users to upload, download, delete, and list files. Moreover, it should also be able to implement authentication and authorization to keep the users' files safe and secure. If you put all these requirements together, then this architecture would look something like this in AWS. To start with, set up Amazon Cognito to ensure that sensitive user data remains protected. For storing the user data, you can utilize S3 buckets to secure and large storage capabilities. Next, to provide a user interface or the front-end and real-time feedback for file operations, incorporate AWS Amplify. Add AWS Lambda for custom backend logic such as file upload, download, delete, and listing from the S3 bucket. Now, to connect this backend logic with the front-end, you need APIs, which you can generate using Amazon API Gateway. Finally, deploy your application on AWS SAM or serverless application model. We have prepared an entire architecture with detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to build these projects on AWS. Do keep in mind that these projects can significantly increase your chances of cracking interviews. So make sure to visit the link given in the description down below. Moving forward to our next project idea, detecting data leaks using SQL injection. The primary purpose of this application is to be able to trigger alerts upon detecting potential SQL injection attacks. Bringing together all these requirements, the architecture would look something like this. For this solution, we will build a three-layer security system, which will start from the base layer to the first layer of defense. But before starting, host your database on RDS, as it will provide a safe and secure environment. Now, for the second layer or the middle layer, set up Amazon CloudWatch, which will monitor database logs in real time and will trigger instant alerts when suspicious activity is detected. For the innermost layer, incorporate Amazon SNS to send notifications in real time to the administrators which will in turn enable quick actions against potential threats. Now, for the first line of defense, deploy AWS WAF. The interesting part about WAF is that it will block malicious SQL injection patterns way before they can even impact your database. At the end, connect this triple layer security system with your database, ensuring a safe and secure environment for your applications. Proceeding to our next project idea, real-time collaborative code editor. Talking about the requirements, a real-time collaborative code editor project should allow its users to collaborate in real-time, provide multiple user access, and real-time syncing of these changes. With all these requirements put together, the architecture would look something like this. To create this framework, begin with Amazon Cognito. I know we keep on using it a lot, but trust me, security is no joke. To store all the project files, codes, dependencies, libraries, and other assets, use S3 buckets since S3 buckets can store large volumes of data. AWS App Sync can be used to synchronize data in real time across multiple users, and DynamoDB can be used to store these real time changes temporarily. So combine these two to track and store large volumes of data. This data can be later pushed easily into S3 buckets for permanent storage. To process the backend logic, such as syntax and semantic correction, syncing with DynamoDB, conflict resolution, etc., 
use AWS Lambda. Finally, expose the CRUD operations for these real-time data changes through API Gateway. And there you have it, a highly responsive and collaborative coding environment. Moving forward to our next project idea, of course, cloud-based voting system. The requirements for this project includes user security, storing and managing voting data, real-time vote counting, and result handling. And lastly, supporting multiple voting events simultaneously without crashing. All these requirements together will generate a design like this. Following Amazon Cognito for user authentication and authorization, we'll need Amazon RDS for storing voting data securely, which will include event details, vote counts, and voter information. Now, to validate these accumulated votes and to count the results in real time, use Amazon RDS. Optionally, if you want to add an option for monitoring votes in real time to add transparency and a layer of protection, you can use Amazon CloudWatch. To allow users to cast votes and fetch the results from RDS, utilize API Gateway to generate APIs. Finally, deploy your application on Amazon CloudFormation. Moving on to our last project idea, cloud-based language translation service. The requirements for this project are quite straightforward. All you need to do is translate text or documents between multiple languages. For that, you need to provide APIs for text input and translation results. Considering these requirements, the architecture would take shape like this. After Cognito, implement Amazon Translate for real-time language translation and to dynamically set the source and target language based on user input. To handle backend logic such as processing language translation, use AWS Lambda. To connect the users with the backend services, you need APIs, meaning API Gateway. If the input is a large text or a document, then store it in an S3 bucket and trigger AWS Lambda to process them and retrieve the output. Finally, deploy the application on AWS SAM. And there you have it, a fast and user-friendly translation service for modern applications. Also with that project, we reached the end of this video. We have prepared an entire architecture with detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to build these projects on AWS. Do keep in mind that these projects can significantly increase your chances of cracking interviews. So make sure to visit the link given in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, then once again, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such content. I'll see you guys next time.